Hi, Jeremy. Hi. Good to see you today. Uh, we're going to be doing a extensive glove fitting um, that's going to involve me taking measurements of your hands uh, to be able to craft this custom, really well-fitting glove for you. How's that sound? That sounds great. Perfect. So if you don't mind, I'll have you just put your hands out for me, and I'm going to have you um, sanitize them. So flip them over. And just rub them together for me. And I'll do the same. And when you're done, just lay them flat for me. I'm just looking for anything that's sort of obviously um, different about the hands, where we can accommodate to any shape and size. And these look pretty normal. Flip them to the other side for me. And is there anything I should know before we start the fitting? Um, any specific injury to the hands or um, uh, something we'll need to accommodate for along the way? Um, no, not really. Okay, perfect. So these all look fine. And I'm just gonna take a look here at the wrists. If you don't mind, yes, just pushing that up for me. Wonderful. Okay, so I see the natural tapering. And that's normal. We'll get some fittings all the way up into about, um, I don't know, two or three inches up the wrist uh, just to make sure that the glove uh, latches properly and doesn't have any um, tightness in the wrist or discomfort there and that you're able to get it on and off properly. All right, so let's go ahead and first just start with a trace here. It's just going to give us a basis to also take notes on. So um, which hand would you like to start with? Uh, let's do left. Okay, so go ahead and remove that right hand for me. I'm going to place this down, and just anywhere on the paper, and just relaxed for now. And I will have you make a couple of different variations here. And I'm just going to mark the wrist. you can remove and this is just for us to take notes on and to make um, marks obviously we won't be shaping the glove directly from this so this is the left hand and I'll go ahead and set this here while I take some measurements so again put that left hand out for me let's just start with some basic ones we're doing everything in centimeters today do you mind if I make a small mark on your wrist? No, it's okay. It just keeps everything consistent. So let's go ahead and do from wrist bone to wrist bone is nine centimeters. So we'll mark you here right at 4.5. Perfect, and I'll make a note on this as well. About. You can like this for me, please. And two centimeters from the crease. Okay, relax. So now that we have our starting point, I'm just going to be measuring um, the distance to each of the tips of your fingers from there. centimeters for the thumb and 18 for the pointer And do the same thing just to the knuckle now of each finger.
Okay, one last time just to the second knuckle here. And for um, these fingers, there is that third joint. And the reason we measure these separately is because we want to make sure the glove is moving in the correct spaces and gives you that room in the correct spaces to work with the glove. I want to get some circumferences here. I'm going to do that with a slightly different tool. Just going to go around the wrist here. And about a couple inches up here. Just make sure there's enough space and that's pretty consistent. Get side to side on the palm. And first can I have you close your fingers all the way? Okay, 14.5 centimeters closed. And can you uh, extend all the way to your max? Is that most comfortable for you? Mm -hmm. So we need about a centimeter of give there for opening and closing the hands. Um, as far as the palm goes, I'm going to do the same thing with the fingers. So again, close the fingers. 12.5. And open up as wide as you can. And max extension is about 21.25 centimeters. Okay, wonderful. Can you flip your palm for me, please? And I'm going to just get some basic measurements here as well. The hand tends to taper in a little bit. Um, so as long as that's not too dramatic, we won't make any notes for it. But we, of course, just want to um, check. So again, I'm just going to make a little bit of a mark here. And so that be 7, 5. Interior. Make sure it's not no dramatic differences side to side. And lay your hand. Give lay your hand a little flatter for me. Yeah. Perfect. And there is no dramatic tapering there, so I'm not worried about the glove not fitting on one side or the other. Okay. I want to do just a little bit of mold of the palm, just get the, um, the shape of the indentation there. Uh, do you have a color preference? Um, let's do light blue. Light blue. Just relax, I'm just going to warm up the clay, the molding clay here.
I'll take the inside of your palm now. I'm gonna give a little bit of firm pressure here, okay, Jeremy? Mm -hmm. Just relax that there. I'm gonna prep one other thing while that dries a little bit. Okay. All right, great, that's a great indentation. I'm just gonna lay this here. Now I'm gonna have you put on the glove. I'm just gonna make some marks on the hand. This is obviously just a plastic glove throwaway, um, but it is pretty snug and that allows us to just make some marks where there's things we want to pay attention to. We've got a slight bit of a raised knuckle there and here. We'll make sure to allocate enough fabric for that. Here as well. slight indentation here. And a slight depression there. Rise towards the middle. bit of extension on the sides there. Can you flip the hand over for me please? Just noting a little bit of inward movement on the left pinky finger. And we will have some indication from the palm on the left there, but I just want to add a slight fabric there. And we need to extend that one. Okay. I think that looks great. Nothing else, just maybe a little um, fabric, too much fabric in the thumb. I'll remove this carefully, Jeremy, okay? Let's do not break the glove. All right, well, we'll set that aside with your mold for later. And I think we're going to move on to the other side now. So, Ken, could you present your Right hand for me, perfect. And we'll start out the same way. We're making marks for the wrist. the same thing on this side, Jeremy. So starting out on the top here, I'm going to first make a mark. It's 
pectoris looks slightly bigger, about 10 centimeters from joint to joint. So let's go ahead and make that mark at the five. And again like this. And that's about one and a half, one and three quarters inches. Okay. your hand out for me and again I'm just going to do measurements from um, point to point and I'm um, just going to run through it so if you have questions let me know but otherwise I will let you know if anything comes up. And again, I'm just going to have you keep your hands closed as much as you can. I'm going to get from side to side here. And open it up. Just get that palm one more time. Get a little more extension on this side. Okay, and again, uh, nice and closed. Perfect. So a little more tapering on this side. Let's go ahead and check the uh, opposite hand, or the inside of the hand, sorry, rather, and just check against that. Make sure there's no major differences or tapering. Again. For just a moment, please, turn. And do you want to stick with blue or try a different color? Uh, let's go with purple this time. Purple, okay.
and lay out that palm for me. And again, just gonna be some pressure. Just wanna make sure we're getting the full palm. I'm just giving that a moment. Beautiful. Okay. So same thing on this side. Please put that glove on. I'm going to just make those same markings. Also help us tell any differences side to side. That is the beauty with custom gloves is we want them to fit absolutely perfectly. So we've got another raised knuckle just like the other side. Do have a bit more of a raised knuckle here and here. This is your right hand you said right? Mm -hmm. So this gets more use so that maybe more muscular tone um, is you, are you right-handed? I shouldn't have said much about it. Yeah. You're, so you're right-handed. Um, because of that, this might be a slightly more muscular um, hand. Uh, you could also have more swelling if you in pain if you use it more often. So we want to accommodate for that. Do you ever get any swelling or aches in your joints in your hand? Um, yeah, sometimes. Okay. We definitely don't want to make it too tight. Flip it for me, please. And I'm gonna just gently remove the glove. Okay. Perfect. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do is just um, take a visual look for any symmetry. So if you place both hands side to side, I'm just literally going to measure side to side, see if there's anything that stands out. That looks great. A little bit of a discretion right there. Just going to mark that. And that is your left hand, right? checking that. Okay, that's fine. A little bit of a discretion there now. Right side here. Put your fingers together so we have the most accurate symmetry here. Okay. 
perfect. And um, all the way out, please. Just a little bit on that right thumb. As well as that left pointer. for me please. Again just running through here. Left wrist. All looks fine for me. The rest of it. So as you can see, we have the measurements for both hands, and we did just note a few spots of um, asymmetry that will run against the numbers as well as the molds and the um, glove measurements that we took. Just those notes we took in the gloves. And what we'll do is put all of these together. We'll come up with the absolute perfect um, size and shape and design for your hand to be so comfortable. It'll almost feel like uh, it's part of you and part of your hand. And that, that is our goal here. That's amazing. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I'm, I'm more than happy to um, send you home with some copies of these if you're interested. Um, but otherwise, I think it takes us about two weeks to mock something up. We'll have you come in, try them on, and see if they're good to be finalized. Thank you so much. Thank you.